Our first transformation we're going to look at is the translation, the slide. The shape of this graph doesn't change. All we're doing is moving everything. So there's two types of translations, vertical and horizontal. If we're adding B, remember this is outside, that's going to be vertical. And if that B is positive, we go up. If B is negative, we go down. Sounds easy enough. Now if we have A, f of x minus a, a is being done to the x on the inside, so we are going horizontal. And if a is positive, we move to the right. If a is negative, we move to the left. But let's just think about one thing here. Let's say that I have our original function being x squared, and we look at x plus 2 squared. You might be tempted to say, oh, that moves to the right. We have plus 2. But look back up here. It's x minus a. x minus a. So what are we subtracting here? We're subtracting negative 2. So a is negative 2 in this problem. That means that no when it's adding 2 inside the parentheses, we don't move to the right, but we move to the left. So that's something to keep in mind, that when it's a horizontal translation, the way that it looks in the equation is actually opposite of what we're going to do on the graph. And if we have these translations, A and B, we can describe that translation as a vector this vector a b this isn't an ordered pair a this isn't a divided by b if we had a translation of right 2 and down 1 we would give it as the vector 2 negative 1 so if you see this that's what it means it means they're translations the top number is the horizontal the bottom number is the vertical and so, we're going to take the graph of x squared, and we're going to translate it. So x squared, hopefully you remember, and if you don't, shame upon you, you should be able to sketch this graph of x squared with no problem whatsoever. That's x squared. Now what does this say? This says that we want to find and graph f of x plus 1 minus 3. Well, what does it mean to find it? Well, that means to plug them into this and figure out the simplified form of the new function. So x plus 1 squared minus 3. x squared plus 2x plus 1 I'm going to call it y equals x squared plus 2x minus 2. So there is the function that I'm trying to graph. And we could graph it some way or another. We've looked at how to graph quadratics. But if we know that there's a translation of left 1 down 3, This x plus 1 means we're not going to go right 1. We're going to go left 1 and down 3. So all I'm going to do is take all these points and go left 1 and down 3. Left 1, down 3. Left 1, down 3. Left 1, down 3. Left 1, down 3. Here is the new graph and it should look the same shape as the original one. Translations preserve the shape of the graph. All they do is slide them on the coordinate plane.